Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all having a good day and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Really appreciate you guys making some time to check the video out. Today we're going to be talking about the next lure category, the lipless crankbait, and give you guys some good tips and advice and maybe uh, give you sort of an understanding about what they're used for. Now basically here what we have, this is a lipless crankbait. There's, there's a lot of them out there. This is called a rattle trap here. This category of lures has been around for, man, probably 60 years. I remember the first fish I can ever remember catching as my dad took me down to Grand Lake down in probably 1969. And we were trolling these things called uh, swimming minnows, which was basically a lipless crankbait. It looked a little bit different than this, but we were trolling them for white bass. And I remember I caught my first bass trolling the lipless crankbait uh, there on Grand Lake in 1969. So they've been around a long time and they have been consistent fish catchers for all different species of fish. They're excellent, excellent lures to catch fish. And really what has happened is they've, uh, they've sort of made a comeback uh, over the past, you know, 10 years or so, because now there's a lot of different variations as far as colors and profiles, of these things. Uh, that you know people can match different situations in. Originally, the lipless crankbait was considered a white bass lure. People didn't really fish it for largemouth or walleye or any other type of species. It was considered a striper, sand bass, white bass lure. But as we learn more about fishing and they have more options available for colors and profiles, it's become a really uh, productive lure for about any type of game fish. So the, the basic uh, premise behind a lipless crankbait is it's loud. It's got, it's got rattles in here, a lot of different rattles, you can hear that. So the fish can, can hear these things from a long way away. So they can come from a great distance to hit these things. And also a lipless crankbait gets what is called a reaction strike from, from bass. Now a reaction strike, this is what it is. It's like, it's uh, one of the myths in fishing is that fish feed because they're hungry all the time. Fish are predators and they're opportunistic and they, they're sort of like a cat. You know, if you ever play with a cat, like a little cat toy, a lot of times they'll swat at it just like that, just out of reaction of something moving. And a lipless crankbait, it's a lure that you reel fairly fast through the water. And since you're moving the lure fast through the water, the bass, they either have to make an instant choice either to get it or not get it. So they have to say, okay, there's food, I gotta react to it and I gotta get it. Maybe, maybe even if they aren't hungry. So a lipless crankbait is the number one lure out there to take advantage of that reaction instinct from a fish. That's why it's so productive. Uh, most of the time you fish this just the same place as you'd fish anything else. I mean, they're good in open water, they're good thrown against the bank. Most of the time what I do, I'll just throw it out there and just begin reeling it in at like a fairly medium to fast retrieve. You, the, you, you don't catch many fish on this thing if you're barely moving it. You gotta be moving it fairly fast. It's got a really tight wobble and those rattles really start moving the faster you reel the thing. So um, I like to fish them fairly fast, but the depth that I fish them is dependent upon the water temperature a lot of time. If the water temperature is cold, say below 40, or excuse me, below 50 degrees, I may let it sink down towards the bottom and just uh, just reel it off the bottom. But most of the time I like to fish it, <clears throat> just throwing it to the bank or throwing it wherever I'm fishing and just begin immediately reeling some type of a median fast retrieve. Another thing that you're gonna find out about a lipless crankbait, it's a really good lure to fish for any type of species of fish if the wind's blowing. A windy day, like if you've got 10 to 20 mile an hour winds, there's something about it that makes this bait extremely productive. And again, again, color variations, uh, you know, there's a lot of different colors, but I would consider, or I'd suggest using the bright colors like this chartreuse in, you know, water that's a little bit dirtier. And then you can go to, you know, some different colors and aren't quite as bright if the water's a little bit cleaner. Most of the time I'll throw it on anywhere between 12 to 15 pound test line, um, seven foot rod, and just uh, cover a lot of water with it. But guys, try it out. Lipless crankbait's one of the best lures to catch all different species of fish in, and I've caught just tons of fish on it. So hope it helps you guys out. We'll talk later.